Hello, this is me, Devening Octopus, also known as Caitlin, and I am still down in my mind in the Journey of Possible Winners world. Uh, as you can see, I've just been mining down to, to diamond level, and uh, hopefully we can find some Diamundes, because that is uh, what we're looking for. Full, full, uh, full armor. We got one diamond. It, um, it was in a, a rather pathetic little vein, like all by itself. So I, I grabbed that, but of course it's not not really good enough to get anything. Uh, I mean, I guess like if I got some obsidian and a book, I could get a craft, uh, an enchantment table, or I could make a diamond shovel. But like I barely use it, and it's not very not very handy. So I want more. You know, I wanna I wanna get a, a diamond pickaxe primarily. Um, because I feel like the end goal of this series naturally should be to, you know, take out the Ender Dragon and then maybe go from there, see, see, uh, see what to do after that point. Um, but uh, but anyway, that's uh, that's gonna take some gonna take some time. But a good step, of course, is to start with uh, with that diamond, uh, that shiny blue diamond pickaxe. Um, talking of pickaxes, I'm gonna have to make a new one for my mining there. There we go. And since I've got over two stacks of coal, let's make some more coal blocks just to save some inventory space. It's a good technique actually. I um, I would advise making uh, making blocks of your, your ores while you're mining because it allows you to uh, take some more stuff just like that. You see it was taking up three slots, it's now just taking up two. Uh, oh, <laughs> what am I doing with that pickaxe? Okay. Oh, oh, there's another redstone block. There we go. Uh, that's actually, I believe that's the first redstone we've got in this uh, this series so far. Uh, again, redstone's probably not going to be that useful for um, for me. I'm not expecting to make any like crazy contraptions or whatever. But I don't know. Maybe if I've taken out the Ender Dragon or whatever, um, I can, I guess, have some have some fun in my world. See what I can see what I can build. See what I can do. Might challenge myself to, I don't know, try new things like proper redstone engineering or something like that. I don't really know. This is very casual, very casual. How do I get to that coal there? I can't just leave it floating. What if I, can I get through over this way? I believe, no, oh no, okay. Uh, can I not get it? Oh no! Oh, that's that's actually really that's gonna really annoy me, because like I like I said um, in the last episode, if you saw that, I have like really awkward OCD, which means that I have like certain routines I've got to follow and things like like that. What if I think I've got an idea? What if I make? No, science can get waterlogged now, can't they? What can't get waterlogged? Uh, can doors? Doors still can't get wood lock, can they? Okay, so if I place... Okay, so here's here's my plan. If I place a door, like... Oh, uh... Can I not... I can't play... Oh! Hmm. How's the water... Can the water get... Oh, no! But the, the thingy isn't floating up! Oh, this is a disaster! Oh, no! I really am just going to be, like, thinking about that the whole episode, aren't I? Damn it. Uh... Did I... Did I get it out? <gasps> yes! Oh my god! Okay. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. I'll... <laughs> I'm going to have to do it again. <laughs> I I do not know why I didn't think of that sooner. You... If, if anyone who knows Minecraft better than me, or as well as me, was watching that there... Um, you were probably been screaming at your screens or whatever. Um, but you gotta remember, I am being distracted. I'm, uh, you know, recording a Minecraft video at the same time. I'm talking and commentating, and uh, my brain isn't uh, isn't as turned on as it maybe maybe should be. The funny thing is, is that it was one coal piece that I wanted to get to there. It really didn't matter. Like. I, I'm probably gonna go and chuck that coal piece into some lava later anyway. It, it, like, it would would have been no sweat at all if it had been completely lost. It's just that because it was just floating there, my brain was like, ah, must pick up. <laughs> 
you know? Uh, level 11 is where I'm at now. Again, I, I said this in the last episode, I can't remember whether it's level 11 or level 13 that's the best level for diamonds. Maybe I'll go to level 12 just to compromise. Let's go to level 12. Okay. If I just kind of strip mine along at this level, I should eventually bump into either a cave system that should lead me, lead me to, you know, further diamond opportunities, um, or just directly some diamond ore, which would be, which would be cool. And, uh, and then of course I can start working my way towards going to the nether, which really is the, uh, the next step, um, in this, uh, in this series, the next real objective, the next frontier, I guess you could, uh, I guess you could say. Would you guys be interested in me doing a reaction video to some of my really cringy old Let's Plays? Like, I know I've spoken about my old Let's Plays so much in this series so far because it really does feel like coming back from retirement, but um, since, I mean, I've, I've changed so much in the last few years and I've you know, had so much more experience with commentary and with gaming and all of all of that. But like, I look back at my old videos now and I just cringe my head off. And I feel like that's the kind of that's the kind of content that people like on YouTube, right? Like cringe, you know, cringe compilations. And it's I guess it's kind of nasty, like when you're I don't know, reacting to like other people who you find cringy. But like, if it's yourself, I think it's fine. Would you guys be interested in that? I think it would be funny. I might do that at some point. I've been thinking actually, I know this is still a little um, a little way off, but my first uh, YouTube video of all time. Why didn't I take the lava? I keep talking about that. Okay, well, what can I do instead? Have I got any flint? No, but I have got some gravel. Okay, so if I, if I, I'm trying to get myself a bin here. <laughs> I know that seems silly. There we go, flint. Okay, now if I get, um, if I get that flint and I get that, I can make myself a flint and steel. That's only going to last a limited amount of time, so I've got to be quick here. Just burn all the stuff that I, I don't need. Dirt, deep slate, uh, that extra redstone, bones, cobblestone. Probably won't get any more copper today. Uh... Yeah, okay, I think I think that should be good for um for now. Um yeah. No what we're saying. So my first um my first Minecraft video of all time was recorded. Um it was actually recorded um before I think it was like just before my eleventh birthday or before my twelfth birthday. It would have been twenty thirteen. So that would have been yeah, so just before my Sorry, 2014. Oh, diamonds! Yes! I had a really delayed reaction to that for some weird reason, but yeah. Oh my god, diamonds! Nice! Okay, right, we're on track, we're on track. Okay. Whew, seven. That's, that's not bad. That really isn't bad at all. Let's see what we can, we can get here. Uh, diamond pickaxe, obviously. And then maybe some boots. There we go. Always good to start protecting myself quickly, because, like I said before in the series, I die a rather excessive amount, to be honest, and I'm not particularly proud of it, but, um, but oh well, I guess. Um, yeah. So as I keep trying to say, first, uh, first Minecraft video uploaded early, uh, 2014, it was like April 2014, um, but I'd actually recorded it a few months prior. But I think on, on like the 10th anniversary of that thing being recorded, I would love to get back together with everyone who was featured in that video. So my, my brother, my sister, um, uh, Georgina as well, Gigi Bellrocks, uh, and, um, and just watch that back and react to it. I think that would be so, so funny. It would be good to like break into another cave system at some point as well, because um, I do want to get some obsidian. And then maybe in the next episode we can head to the nether. Um, yeah, uh, and then... I've had some really bad luck with the nether on, um, on this channel in the past. If you remember, in, uh, in Journey of Champions, uh, which was the second time I tried to make a series to go and slay the Ender Dragon, um, in Journey of Champions I, uh, 
I, I got to the nether and I looked around for ages and for some weird reason I couldn't find another fortress like anywhere. It was as if it just hadn't spawned a nether fortress. I don't know if it did or not. Um, I can't remember, did I eventually find it? Like after a few episodes or... I don't know, it was like... I even, I, I even resorted to doing something which I've never done in a, in a survival series before or since, which was um, like going exploring off camera just to see if I could, I could find it between episodes. And I can't remember whether I was successful or not. But, um, but anyway, uh, that is the, that is the past. Hopefully, we actually do find the uh, the fortress this time, and uh, relatively quickly at that. Um, I'm sure you will know how to how to get to the, the Ender Dragon. If you're watching this video, chances are you have at least a remote interest in uh, in Minecraft, and I'm not here to you know teach you or whatever. But if you didn't know, uh, you need Blaze uh, Powder, which you get from Blaze Rods, which you get from uh, killing Blaze. Uh, Blaze are found in the the Nether fortresses, which are in the Nether, because of course, where else would they be? And, uh, and with that, you can mix the blade powder together with ender pearls, and, uh, and that creates eyes of ender, which you can use um, to locate and then activate an ender portal. But like I said before, you guys probably know that already. I'm just finding stuff to waffle about right now because that's kind of my job when I'm doing uh, Minecraft Let's Plays. <laughs> Okay, how much redstone have we got? Way too much. <laughs> well, I don't know about too much, but it is rather filling my inventory. Is this... Uh, 57 is not a multiple of 9, so this isn't going to be... Um, this isn't going to be perfect, but it will be a start, I guess. Uh, more redstone blocks. What about coal blocks? Well, 19 isn't a multiple of 9 either, so that's not quite going to work. I'm going to have to get out my bin again, aren't I? And by bin, I mean burn it with fire, yeah. Okay. Deep slate, andesite, blah blah blah, don't need iron boots anymore. It's only four iron anyway. Iron pickaxe can go bye bye so I can get another one relatively easily if I need it. Uh, oh, I can make I can make lapis blocks, can't I? Uh, yeah, okay. Oh. I don't think I have ever heard that sound in Minecraft before. Is that a new cave sound? Wow, that's scary. I mean, cave, cave sounds in Minecraft are scary in the first place. The whole kind of do 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 or whatever. But like that one sounded like I don't know, like a monster pushing a minecart or something like like that. Oh wow, I like it. I like it. It's spooky. Yeah. There's, there is, there's a lot of reasons why I used to be scared of, um, of Minecraft, but um, it's, it's sound design was one of those. Honestly, I, I'm not lying when I say I think Minecraft probably has the scariest, one of the scariest sound designs of any game. And that's not an exaggeration. Like, I know horror movies which don't do sound design as well as Minecraft, and it makes it so impactful. So impactful. Um, when you hear like a zombie getting closer and closer, or you hear, you know, just a random cave sound while getting closer and closer to um, a ravine or whatever, or an abandoned mine shaft. It's like, it's awesome, in all honesty. And um, just one of the many, many things that makes Minecraft excellent. I think if I get one more, uh, if I if I reach one more vein of diamonds, I think after that I'm probably gonna head up a bit and see if I can find a cave to break into. Because uh, if I can do that, then I can start going off to obsidian, which I think should be the the next goal. Often you can find caves at this level though, at at, um, at twelve, or at least. Sometimes I'll be strip mining and I'll mine into like a lava source or whatever and have to block it off quickly before I get burnt to a crisp and, um, and from there I can find a find a cave uh, So I'm kind of hoping that I can do that soon I know there's probably caves like directly above me, but I want to stay at this kind of level, you know I want to I want to be at diamond level just so I can bag the goods if there if there are any 
One tactic which I've been um, getting really into recently um, is blast mining. I love just getting um, TNT and just kind of blowing massive holes in the terrain to see what I can find. It is awesome. And it's probably not actually that effective because it takes a, takes a little while to you know, to set up the TNT, then back off, and, like, if you have a, um, if you have a good enough pickaxe, you can probably mine out all the blocks that you can blast in, like, the same amount of time and for fewer resources, but even so, it's just fun, you know? Everyone likes explosions, and, um, and rather than just kind of strip mining straight as well, it kind of creates a, a bigger, I guess it casts a wider net, and again, I don't really know if that does make it more likely that you're going to find something good, but it's, uh, it's fun, you know? Where are the diamonds? Where are the diamonds? Give me a D, give me an I, give me an A, give me an N, give a, an M rather, not an N, what am I talking about? Give me an O, place a freaking torch, give me a... Where, where did I get to? I got to... I got to O, didn't I? Give me an N! Give me a D! Give me diamonds! Frickin... Ah! I shouldn't really be sounding this frustrated. It's actually been quite a... Uh... Oh! More cave noises! Uh, my in inventory is full up yet again because I... Oh, I can hear lava. I don't know if I should just try to, like, mine up to get it. I might just be mining for a, for a long time if I do that. Maybe, maybe I'll, I don't know. I, th I think I'm going to keep kind of going for diamonds until I find one more, like, vein of it. Um, but anyway, what was I, what was I literally just trying to say? Honestly, no idea. So let's just pack up our crafting table and empty our inventory and then carry on. Turf, cobblestone, deep slate, blah, blah, blah. Got more copper? When, when did I get that copper? I don't remember mining more copper. I must be on autopilot mood right now. Yeah, I always go on autopilot mood while playing Minecraft, but commentating like this is just kind of making it more sort of um, brainless. It's like, I don't know. My mind is occupied with other things, like wondering where this lava is going to come from, uh, where this lava is coming from, and whether the next block I mine is going to give me a... Oh! I was about to say, give me a hot bath. Wow! Okay, well, first of all, let's finally remember to get a lava bucket. There we go. Hot stuff. Jolly good. And now... Right, where does the edge... Where's the... There's the edge. Okay, now, let's get ourselves some obsidian. Carefully. Jolly good. Place a torch down. Okay. Uh, right, so we need ten blocks to make a, to make a nether portal. Might be good to get 14 because that's where that that would also give us enough to make a, an enchantment table late, uh, later on. Ice bucket challenge. Does anyone remember that? I tried to make a YouTube video out of my mum's uh, ice bucket challenge. It was very cringy, very bad. Didn't end up going up. It says a lot that even kid me knew it wasn't a good enough video to go up. <laughs> okay, there's a third. Here comes a fourth, as soon as that gets... Oh, mining obsidian. I, as much as I love mining, mining obsidian is awful. Cause it's like, you have to mine the same block for such an extended period of time. It really sucks. Come on. And pop, there we go. Uh, if anyone's wondering what else I've been doing and what else is coming up in terms of YouTubing right now, um, I've got some, uh, I've got a, another random FM race views episode that I'm working on right now. Uh, that's my Caitlin Penny commentary channel, of course. Uh, and I don't know if I should give a spoiler for that. I'm not sure how much of the audience on this channel watches, um, those videos as well. Probably all of you, to be honest, because it's basically just my, my friends watching at this point in, uh, point in time. But anyway, uh, the next episode going up on, on that channel is the last race of the season. It's not a championship decider, but it does hold a couple of distinctive records in F1 history. 
and it has something to do with the footwork team. So I'll let you, I'll yet let you work out what that is. Uh, if you've currently got Wikipedia open, trying to work out exactly what Grand Prix, you know, was the last race of the championship and had something to do with the footwork team or whatever, you probably know exactly what race I'm talking about. But you know, it's another classic, and I'm looking forward to uh, to finishing it. Uh, also, I recently uploaded a an episode of sorry, not an episode at all, but I recently uploaded a uh, a cover. Uh, it was like a, a medley of various different, uh, all the different uh, songs from Linkin Park's uh, Meteora album, and I'm quite proud of it. It's not perfect. It's it's not perfect by any means. There's there's a bit. There's a couple of bits where the editing isn't quite spot on. Um, there's one bit where the there's like two of the lines were clearly done on different takes and for some weird reason I just could not get my, my microphone to um, to sound exactly the same on both takes and um, so yeah so it, it does sound kind of different and uh, and a little bit clunky but you know I, I still think it's I still think it's decent it's it's good enough and uh, and everyone who's watched it so far or listened to it so far seems to like it so I guess that's um, that's all I can all I can hope for I think my sin my singing was good um, it's mainly my editing that's uh, that's lacking but you know like I said I I quit that media college after a week so it's not really not really my fault. Um, I just don't really have the expertise in, uh, in that kind of thing, but anyway. And I think that that should be it for this uh, this video. So thank you all very much for uh, for watching. Sorry that we're finishing in this dark and dingy mine yet again. Uh, maybe next episode I'll be able to go back up to the, to my home and, uh, and maybe finish making it, uh, making it look prettier, making it look uh, like it fits in more with the, the village that I'm in. And... Uh, and then, after that, we can go to the nether. So make sure you tune in then. And uh, from me, down in this mine, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!